ICICI Bank, the profit jumped one and a half times in the December quarter thanks to lower provisions on account of the resolution of SR Steel account. On the other hand, slippage is almost doubled. Shefali is standing by with the fine print. Shefali, how did the numbers stack up? Well, the numbers were overall good, uh, barring the higher slippages numbers, which too were largely largely known. So, starting with the basic numbers, net interest income grew 24%, and pre-provisioning operating profits grew 23%, and profit inched up 160% to 41.46 crores. Now, these earnings were largely boosted by the SR Steel recoveries that the bank had during the quarter. So, in a couple of banks, actually, we'll get to see that in this particular quarter. Apart from that, the slippages rose. Um, to 4363 crores and the write-offs as well and the overall deletions were also equally higher uh, in fact a bit more because of which we saw the headline asset quality improve a bit from 6.37 percent to 5.97 percent that is a gross NPS and net NPS came off 11 basis points on a sequential basis apart from that um, the overall provisioning rose slightly to 2506 crores versus uh, 2080 um, Sorry, the provisioning came in at 2,083 crores versus 2,506 crores. A slight improvement there. Uh, the provisioning coverage ratio almost remained flattish. There was an increase in the double B in the below book to 17,403 crores versus 16,000 crores. That's mainly because uh, a telecom account slipped into this particular category. Other than that, the operational metrics looked good. The net interest income stood strong at 3.77 percent. Fee income uh, also went up very strongly by 17 percent. Deposit growth, a good number again, 18 percent. Domestic loans, 16 percent. And there was again a very strong growth seen in retail loans by 19 percent. Corporate loans, however, grew by a 12 odd percent. What about the management commentary, Fali? Stress, uh, resolutions, what did they have to say? Well, first about the slippages, they said that uh, one, it is from a housing finance company and the other one is from a South India based industrial firm and a telecom account has been downgraded to double B and below book, which is the reason why the book has gone up and the total telecom exposure is at 1.8% concentrated on top two players mm -hmm. and the, the more important thing is that they've not made any additional provision for the telecom exposure. So just as a comparison point, because Bank of Baroda also came um, on Friday, they've made provisioning for their telecom exposure. So I don't know how prudent it has been on the part of the management to not make any provision for the telecom exposure. Had they done that, the numbers would have missed this particular quarter. And um, also about the retail, a word about the retail loans, uh, they said that um, the retail NPA stood at 2.14 percent versus 2 percent on a sequential basis, and they are okay with this uh, sort of a number as of now. The growth remains overall healthy. Okay, so if I compare uh, ICICI with Axis, which came out three days ago, how do the two stack up? It has been very neck to neck actually, more or less similar sort of a performance. ICICI Bank's number were obviously boosted by the SR Steel recovery, but other than that, the numbers were largely uh, more or less um, similar. ICICI Bank had an edge on a couple of parameters. Mm -hmm. So just look at the top line, net interest income. For ICICI, it has been 24%, Access Bank 15%. Other income was a very strong component for ICICI Bank earnings, 18%. For, ICIC, for Access Bank, it was down. And uh, pre provisioning operating profit, ICICI Bank gains an edge there as well, gro growing by 23 odd percent. Apart from that, some other parameters, operational metrics or the business metrics, loan growth 16 percent, same for both, deposit growth, slight edge, ICICI Bank has 18 percent, access 15 percent, and NPA ratios as well, the gross NPA. Um, has uh, changed, gross NPAs have uh, changed by 15.8 percent and uh, for access by 5 odd percent. The ratio stands at 5.95 for ICICI and for access at 5 percent. The slippages were higher for access bank this time around at 6200 odd crores. So uh, ICICI bank has, a, has an edge actually in a couple of parameters. Yeah, well, and a resolution certainly helped the matter as yes. well. Great. Shifali, thanks so much for putting that into perspective. Well, that's the big boy ICICI bank coming out with its numbers and uh, meets estimates on most counts. The reported numbers much higher than what the street was working with.